hello there everybody. We're making some homemade guacamole and this recipe I'm using is four ingredients. Well, five if you count salt. Um, and I've already cut it and put it together, but I kind of wanted to show you. I've got this ice cream ba bucket. Um, four ripe avocados, three vine tomatoes, and then I took half of a red onion. See this onion? Now that's part of the secret ingredient. You might not think so because a lot of people don't like onions. The trick is, and, see, and people who don't like onions will usually eat this and they'll be like, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's really good, but you have to cut the onion pieces super tiny. Like you have to dice it really, really small. And and then the next, the last trick is like, uh, you know, uh, probably about two cups of shredded cheese. This is my cousin's grandmother's recipe so like from her grandma so like not my grandma but uh we were all so close like we're all relative and stuff so anyway so there he put some cheese so just those four ingredients four huge avocados half an onion three vine tomatoes and about two cups of shredded cheddar and i really like it more if it is sharp cheddar you see it? My, my bowl is like moving around. Anyways, you just mix that up. And then my favorite thing to do is to put them on wheat thin crackers. That's my favorite combination of flavors that you would use guacamole on. Tonight we're making quesadillas for the kids for dinner. And so we're just going to dip it in that. But anyways. Um, and then the last ingredient would be salt. But if you have a, a, like a salty enough sharp cheddar cheese then you might not even have to put salt into it because the cheese usually will salt it up really well. Anyway, so take another look. This is homemade guacamole. Hope you could see that. <laughs> and I'm just mixing that cheese in. You know, and that cheese actually kind of masks the, the texture of onions because part of the onion people, like people who don't like onions usually... The onion people, like that's a whole tribe. It's kind of like the potato people out there. See that? That's Idaho, you guys. We're in jackpot. And on the other side of that ridge, like a mile that way, that's Idaho. So there's the potato people. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. As a, we've got onion people. Anyways, people who don't like onions usually honestly can't tell that there's onions in this. But they like the flavor of it because the onions kind of create like almost a smoky flavor. But um, but it creates kind of like a smoky flavor. But they don't like the texture of the onions. So the cheese in a way masks it. Well, the cheese and then the avocado is kind of gushy, like a squishy texture. So they kind of don't taste the texture of it. And it's just like my ultimate favorite. And I haven't had a guacamole that tastes as good as this not anywhere not not one single restaurant that i've ever been to has had guacamole as good as that i've had some good guacamole though but not as good as this ever yeah, ever ever good. what place in elko is pretty good he's saying the place in elko yeah oh what was the name of that place la fiesta the la fiesta in elko He's crazy. Anyways, so happy guacamole day. <laughs> See you later. Just thought I'd show you my guacamole making. Goodbye.